My name is Mark Leda, and I produce the videos that you see on my channel, Soft White Underbelly. I've been a photographer since I was 14, and I spent most of my career doing advertising work. So I'm basically making, helping uh, wealthy corporations become even wealthier. And that became, that, that, that I realized as I got older, that was my legacy, and I didn't feel comfortable with that. So I wanted to do something that mattered more in the world. The name Soft White Underbelly came from Winston Churchill, who back in World War II was advising the United States on how best to attack Germany. And he, he called Italy the soft underbelly of Europe, meaning that was, its most, that was the most vulnerable spot that Germany had to come in from Italy. These videos are, are meant to create awareness of things that are broken in our country. If we don't look at some of these things, they're just gonna to continue to grow and get worse and worse. And I believe listening, understanding, accepting, and maybe deciding to do something differently might make a difference eventually and, and help the next generation or two of parents raise kids who have more hope, have better role models, have both parents in their lives. That's my hope. That's my aim with this work. It's not to help the addict that's outside my door. Even though I've done that, I've done that many times. I've spent, over the last 10 years, I've, I've, I've talked with about 1,000 people and I've, financially, I've, I've probably spent $150,000 helping people with tents, with, with, oh, you need shoes, you need clothes, you need food, you need a cell phone to call your parole officer, you need all these kind of things. Day after day after day, every time I'm down here, I'm bleeding money. But that's not what this channel is about has nothing to do with this channel. This channel is purely about what I just said, which is helping our society, helping our government figure out what's wrong with our country and hopefully build a better system. Like the, the wealth inequality that goes on here, the, uh, the education and opportunity inequalities create this stuff. But, I mean, I talked to some of these kids and, or some of these people and, and said that when they were kids, they had no hope of, of a bright future. There was no chance of it. So that's what I think needs to change. I've helped some addicts. That's a, that's a personal thing I do. It has nothing to do with this channel. I'm just showing you what, some things that are wrong with the country. Um, sometimes that's just too much to deal with. It's just too much to look at. And I'll watch these videos or listen to these talks, listen to these people, and, and I'll do it on a more personal level, a more like individual, like. I see self-destructive or self-sabotaging behavior in myself and I'll, I'll be able to apply the story that I'm hearing, maybe not as extreme, some of these stories are really horrifying, but in my childhood it was nothing like these. But the mechanics are still the same. You know, the, the, the stuff that happens to you as a kid ends up affecting the way you believe in yourself, which ends up manifesting as problems with Oh, alcohol or, or drugs or your diet or taking care of your health or your choice of partners or your career choices or your belief in yourself and, and the education that you decide to get. And there's so many things that we, we get, in, we're, we're our own worst enemies sometimes. And I think that's an interesting story as well. If you watch these videos, you'll be like, wow, that, that's what was going on with them. That's why they're doing what they're doing. And then you, you can kind of apply it to your own life. At least I can. Um, other times I, I just find listening to all these talks like a crash course in empathy. I used to look at homeless people and go, man, why, why don't they just get a job? Quit the drug, get a job, problem solved. And now after hearing all these stories, I realize what these people have gone through in their childhoods, how they're broken, how they never had a chance, they never had hope. And that really has changed, it's built my compassion and, and empathy for these people like, like nothing else. And then other times, I can't handle any of the above, and I just watch these videos as like interesting character studies. I get to listen to people that I never, would never ever meet in my life. <laughs> and they're interesting and fascinating, and I leave it at that. That's all I can bite off for the day. So if you have the strength and courage to watch these videos, that's great, and if you don't, I understand, they're not for everybody. But if we're gonna change our country, we're gonna need to understand why it's broken, what's wrong with it, and here's a really good window into what's really going on. 
I hope, uh, hope you enjoy my work, and thank you for watching. Oh, and by the way, um, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a handful or more of videos that uh, have been deleted from my channel for various reasons. And uh, starting tomorrow, <clears throat> I'll start uh, uploading those videos again. They're, they're just slightly changed to protect the subject or, or for some reason just to match, to meet uh, YouTube's community guidelines or whatever it takes so that they don't get deleted. And uh, you'll start seeing those tomorrow. There's, there's some of the best videos I've done and I just thought it was a shame that they, they don't exist on my channel. So you'll, you'll, you'll start seeing those tomorrow and thank you for watching.